So this is a bit of a continuation on my last video regarding the M92 chip or Power IC on the Nintendo Switch. This one I'm replacing the BQ24193 chip, which is located just to the right of the charger port or the Type C port on the Nintendo Switch. Now, some people might be asking, why is this getting replaced? Well, according to Texas Instruments, which I believe is the manufacturer of this chipset, their description of it says it's a highly integrated switch mode battery charge management and system path management device, for single cell lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries in a wide range of tablets and other portable devices. So basically the simple version of that, this particular chip helps charge and maintain the battery. Now, I don't believe this one is faulty on this Nintendo Switch, but I thought for the sake of experience, it's worthwhile swapping it over as it is one of the most, or probably one of the three common chips that seem to fail on the Nintendo Switch, at least according to the internet. So this particular one does, or did feel a lot easier to replace compared to the Power IC. I believe it was more simpler to change just due to its positioning and the lack of major components around it or smaller minor components. With this I found it was a lot easier to get in there with the tweezers to actually lift it up rather than having to avoid knocking smaller components around the IC. Just cut out around about a minute worth of footage as I had this on relatively or a slow flow temperature or slow flow of around 40 to 50 and I had it at around 260 degrees or 260 degrees Celsius which these do seem to tolerate up to around about 280 as we can see a nice clean pull of the chip nicely exposed everything looking good anyway I'll put down some flux and realign the new chip and go ahead from there as you can see, nothing pulled off the old chip, all looking good. I reckon it'd be safe to say that this one will more than likely still be reusable down the line if I do come into any other parts I need to use of this one. And so far what I've been doing is I've been using just a small dab of flux just to get it to sit nicely or stick down onto the board rather than slide around when I apply the hot air station to it. and tacky I can roughly align where it needs to go which I found even doing this three or four times now the rate of being able to align it has definitely increased in speed and from here we'll apply some a bit more heat to it which will hopefully soften the uh, soften the solder liquefy it and get a nice good stick Now, I'm just imagining all the people that do do micro soldering are probably cringing at all the terms that I use, but it's the best that I can describe it. Hopefully, with a bit more knowledge down the line, I can use the correct terms and also do a lot more or a lot better job installing or removing, cleaning, and reinstalling new chips. But I just see that as a, a little pipeline dream. Time will tell if it works. Currently, I think next on my agenda is to get a decent soldering station. The current one that I'm using, the soldering iron's terrible. But anyway, it just stuck nice and or stuck down, no movement. Excellent. Next thing is just to clean it up, give it a hit with some isopropyl, give it a quick inspection which you'll see soon see near the end of the video. And go from there. Just a bit of a spoiler, this particular one was still 
This changed nothing to do with the Nintendo Switch that I've been working on. No loss, no gain. So I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.